With plenty more material in the works, fans have been eager to know what will happen next in the series that caught everyone's eye, The Last Kingdom. And today we're going to talk about just that. The upcoming Season 5, we will take a first look into things and tell you everything we know so far, so without further ado, let's dive right in. Season 5 Renewal Yes, the next fifth season has officially been renewed at Netflix, with executive producer Nigel Marchant proudly announcing the whole thing, and saying how he's grateful to be part of it, especially with the whole project managing to entertain audiences all over the world. The tremendous response the last fourth season received was the driving force behind yet another season of the show, the loyal fan base deserves it. As Nigel said it, and the whole crew and the cast are excited to give the viewers a chance to follow Uhtred on the next stage of his quest in his crazy world. Alexander Brayman talked to Variety and was thrilled to say the least, he was not expecting the reaction of the fans, or at least the one they gave. Especially because of the fact that there was not a lot of advertising for the series, but the show managed to survive anyway, and all the thanks go to the fans who are all extremely kind and very supportive of what they've been doing in and out of the series. The sad part about this whole adventure is the fact that Netflix also announced that this fifth season will also be the last. Alexander will also be directing at least one episode in the last season of the show, who after playing Uhtred for five seasons, he has nothing bad to say. Because as he says it, this whole project has also been an adventure for him too, not only for the character he's playing in the TV show, Thus, when the opportunity presented itself, he had to take the shot and direct too. A moment in his career after which he truly learned the skill and talent of all his cast and crew members in a whole. Season 5 Release Date and Trailer For the release side of things, unfortunately there are not many details known, or any official word yet on when will the fifth season of The Last Kingdom release, but knowing that the filming wrapped in June 2021, we should get some official news about the actual release date very soon. If everything goes according to plan for the series, as it has been doing by now, it's highly possible that the series will stick to its usual 18-month production cycle. And if this is the case, our prediction for the series and when it might get released would fall somewhere around late 2021 or early 2022. In April 2021, it was announced by Draymond and his co-stars on social media that they're moving to Hungary to film the final season, and considering the circumstances, they must be very lucky and grateful to have done that with the pandemic and all. Draymond was kind enough to repeatedly show his gratitude towards the fans and their continued support over the years because if it wasn't for them, the series would not have pushed this far, right? The following month, it was also announced that the series will end after the fifth season, bringing Uhtred of Beban Berg's epic and brutal journey through England's perilous years to a close. As for a trailer or an actual footage of the fifth season, if the series were to take where they left, releasing a trailer of sort in the month leading up to the show's premiere, we'll have to wait and see what will be the date set for the actual release and then suspect when the trailer would release. <laughs> Season 5 Cast In a world where one of the main solutions to most of the things is a bloody battle, it is not uncommon to say that some cast won't be returning for the last season of the show. For example, Ian Hart's father, Bioka, will not be returning as he drew his last breath in the last season of the series. Martian, the executive producer of the series, said that losing Ian Hart was a hard thing to see. But the nature of the show has always been like that, showing that all the battles have real consequences and that they are not just for show. Uhtred's impetuous feeling shows to him that it's time to retake Bebanberg without fully realizing the repercussions, thus he loses his father figure, the person who has always been by his side, and therefore him, guiding him and fighting with him on every front. We also had to say goodbye to Toby Regbo's Athelred, who is also gone from the series. He was the one who managed to reflect on everything and see his mistakes, and also the one who regretted them all, especially acknowledging how cruel he had been to Athelflaed and his ambition taking over. Two other cast members who will not be returning for the fifth season of the show are Magnus Brun as Knut and Adrian Bouchet as Stipa, with both of them losing their lives. However, the one person who will definitely be returning for the last season is Alexander Draymond as Uhtred of Bebenberg. It would not be the same series without him, right? As he said it, he has been playing the character for so long and losing your motive can be an easy thing to do. But with the right people around you that keep you pushing, 
everything is possible. Also, losing your lover with her head being cut off is such an insane thing to see, like where do you go from there? There are doubts about Eliza Butterworth's Aleswith after she has been poisoned by Aethelhelm. If she comes back, Aleswith would definitely be looking forward to getting an even nastier revenge in the upcoming season. Aethelhelm might not be long for this world, especially after actor Adrian Schiller admitted that his character's luck could be running out very soon. And to be fair, it would be difficult to see how he survives the one character who has been plotting to screw over the main characters of the show for so long. Season 5 Plot Netflix were bold enough to release an official synopsis of the last season, which reveals that Uhtred's destiny is not just Babenberg, it is more than that. Him being tied to the future of England itself, Uhtred's ambition would have an even higher purpose, but achieving his destiny would prove rather difficult as he would have to face his greatest enemy, while also suffering some of his greatest losses. The last season would tell the story of all the separate kingdoms coming together and how that union would reflect on Uhtred and him getting back to Babenberg. The show will continue to adapt Cornwell's Saxon stories, so we should expect the fifth season to unpack the events of Warriors of the Storm, the ninth book, and the Flamebearer, the one following it, given that the previous seasons all tackled two books in one season. So if you're a fan of the books, you might have the rough idea of what is about to happen. However, just because the fifth season is based on those specific novels, it doesn't mean that there won't be significant changes. Season 1 was faithful to the books and all of the fans were surprised to see the series following the adaptation all the way. However, from the second season onwards, there were some changes made in the series, changes that would eventually lead to an even greater plot focus to be explored. So yeah, even if you've read the 9th and 10th book, don't worry, there will be surprises waiting for you in the upcoming season. There are two more books after 9 and 10 titled War of the Wolf and Sword of Kings, so if enough people tune in, there might be a strong chance that The Last Kingdom will be back for yet another sixth season to complete the whole set of books. Fight on them, they will kill you! On a related note, tell us down in the comments below what do you think of the series and what would you like to see in the last season of the show. And also don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon if you'd like to see more amazing videos such as this one in the future. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.